Welcome to another video by DJ SPRC. I want to show you today uh, how to waterproof your light controller. This is a light controller from, uh, I don't think it's an LED controller. Got this at my local hobby shop. And basically it has brake lights, turn signals, high beam, low beam, and I think it only even has backup lights. Now, being in here in Canada, especially, we have winter. And electronics and water, they don't like each other. Definitely. That's where it comes, conformal, silicone modified conformal coating. This guy here in the bottle. One of the things you will need to do this video is a black light if you want to see if you covered everything at the same time. Because when you put a black light and you see it itself right here, it changes color. Now I do have a video how to do a receiver. Pretty much the same uh, way doing it. Now on this guy here, we're just gonna cut this tape. The way this guy's designed, I can see the physical line. I'm trying to retain the uh, sticker on it. I'm not sure if I'll be able to retain it. Cause I got these clips here. Oh bad. Let's remove it. Now there's a couple other ways you could do it too if you wanted to. Uh, you could use liquid tape. I do have a video on that one too. But I decided to use on this one conformal coating. It's a little bit easier. Now I'm just going to try to keep everything plugged in. There you go. One of the reasons I'm trying to keep everything plugged in because I'm going to put some on this side here too of the board to make sure if water ever goes in, doesn't short out the pins. Now water can might probably will go where the connectors are but unfortunately if i basically confirm will coat these guys here you won't be able to remove them anymore now i want to make sure that you're aware guys if you do this you are avoiding your warranty i want to make sure you are and the other thing too confirmal coating is a chemical Make sure you are well in a ventilated place and with air circulation because this could be not nocive. What we're going to do is just coat it. It's basically like painting something. Now, because conformal coating is clear, it is hard to see where you put it and the other reason i have a piece of paper underneath it is to prevent drips because i just dropped some here on my it comes with the camera formal coating here the information booklet let's say no i think i missed this spot here now, if you're not sure if you cover it everywhere, that's where the uh, black light comes in part. You see the change in color, comes like ultraviolet. And basically, if you miss the spot, it won't change color.
Now, I'm gonna let this dry a bit here. And the other thing I'm gonna do is the other side. And the only reason I'm doing the other side is, just like I said, it's in case there ever, ever water goes in. It's just to prevent the most as possible here. That's why I'm doing both sides. There we go. I'm going to try to do the middle here. Now, if you ever do a boo-boo or mistake, there is carfermal coating remover. That will dissolve the carfermal coating. I do have close by to me here. I'm going to finish this and I'll go grab it and show you guys. Now, some of you are asking, where can I buy conformal coating? It's not at your local Home Depot or Lowe's, especially here in Canada. You'll buy it in a specialty electronics store. You might be able to buy it online, but again, you have to be careful. It is a chemical. No. Not sure if you guys can see it but right around here. I'll see if the camera could focus a little bit. No, probably not. It's hard to see it, but you see I'm missing a spot here. Right here. But that spot doesn't really matter. There's no electronics where that is. I'll just put this aside. Make sure to close this guy here. Just now, I'm going to just go grab the Carfermal Coating Dissolver. Basically, is from MG Chemicals, the 8310A. It's Carfermal Coating Stripper Gel. Basically, what this is, it it's removes the carfermal coating and strips it. Again, nasty stuff again. I will put some links in the description and the model product in the description for this, guys. Now, the only thing I need to do is basically put this back in one piece and that's it. Now, if you guys have any questions or comment, post them below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. And don't forget, if you like this video, hit the like button and hit that bell notification to get notified when the next time I upload a video. Thank you.